That's enough. He's ready to fall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Is this not the most perfect kingdom of them all? Well, technically, you're not a king. Uh, Thelonious... You were saying? What I mean is, sir, uh, you're not a king yet. Lord Farquaad is coercing the mirror into spilling his secrets on how to become a king using force and threats. Again. Show me again. We can see at the start of the film, Lord Farquaad locked up the mother bear, and then later on turned her into a rock. Oh, murder. It's very hard to hear, but Lord Farquaad says he's going to draw and quarter Shrek, which is a brutal medieval form of torture, where they're drawn, hung, disemboweled, beheaded, and then quartered. A brutal form of execution, which will land Farquaad a death penalty. And as for you, my wife, Fiona, I'll have you locked back in that tower for the rest of your days! Wait, Junior, you're still gonna be king. We're just gonna have to come up with something smarter, that's all. But don't you wanna see your wife? Fiona. Shrek? Aye, Fiona. It is me. What we see here is a form of identity fraud. Even though the fairy godmother didn't commit the crime directly, it was her plan for her own benefit of her son potentially becoming the ruler of Far Far Away. I, I, I can't. I, I won't do it. Oh yes you will. If you remember, I helped you with your happily ever after. And I can take it away just as easily. This is a form of coercion where she's threatening to turn the king back into a frog if he doesn't do her bidding. She's taken the potion! Kiss her now! No! Ugh, I told you ogres don't live happily ever after! <laughs> Yeah, Fairy Godmother just tried to kill Shrek. No, I do. I do. I do. I need him. Oh, I do. And I'm going to use Alakay. Yes. I'm going to use him to get rid of Zuba once and for all! We can see here Makunga is plotting the removal of King Zuba, which can be considered betrayal of the monarchy, and so is High Treason. Who can possibly take Zuba's place? Anyone? Someone? No one? Hey! Oh. You, sir! I guess not. Very awkward, but I suppose I could carry this. Tremendous burden. <laughs> Quiet! For all of us. Listen up. I'm afraid there is only one solution to this horrible crisis. We'll all have to fight for it. You could make a case that he's inciting a riot here, which is pretty irresponsible for the leader to do. Well, that's not fair. You'd win. Exactly, Shirley. I'm fine. <laughs> someone special in your life, Hal? No, not yet, but there's this really, really good looking one I've got my eye on currently. To stalk someone is to harass or persecute with unwanted and obsessive attention, and Hal definitely does this to Roxanne. And I, and I brought some flowers. Didn't know what you liked, so I, I just grabbed, you know, all of them. 
I should just rescue you a few times before we get all romantic. Whoops! <laughs> Savior, you are lucky to have such a great hero. This man has no riz and is also putting Roxanne under a lot of danger with his flirting techniques. Where did you get all this stuff? It doesn't belong to me. You stole it! Pretty cool, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. This isn't how you play the game. Game over. <gasps> this would count as involuntary manslaughter as he just killed a lot of people through recklessness and negligence. Titan has freed us! Oh, I wouldn't say free. More like under new management. So Titan just took over the city and he also committed assault and battery on the mayor. Just so you don't get cold feet? Roxanne. Well, that was easy. Looks like there's only one loose end now. So Titan attempted to kill both Roxanne and Megamind, and him throwing the skyscraper I included in the domestic terrorism charge, so nothing extra there. Let's all laugh at the really cool guy, huh? Enjoy your flight! Ah! Say bye bye, Roxy. None of the prisoners actually escaped since it's still inside the prison. All he did was destroy a wall. To count every second of your 85 life sentences. You were right. This song is copyrighted. Oh no. I must replace it. Replace it. <sighs> Miss Ritchie, we meet again. Would it kill you to wash the bag? You call this? Predictable! You're alligators! Yes! Yeah, I was thinking about it on the way over. This can be classed as careless endangerment of Roxanne, even if she didn't seem too bothered by it, due to having done it so many times. Copper drains my powers! Ugh. Your weakness is copper? Why? You're kidding, right? Oh, I don't think Megamind was expecting this to work, and truly it didn't, but he still tried to kill Metro Man. This song is copyrighted. Oh no. I must replace it. Replace it. This song is copyrighted. I must replace it. Replace it. Replace it. Megamind enacts a one-man peaceful revolution of Metro City. No, 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 once again, not counting it. Give him a billion, done. Only the future. Ah! Oh, I'm too close. I'm genuinely scared right now. Oh no, we're gonna crash. Megamind just drowned the car. Definitely written off now. <laughs> You've got me. <laughs> Good luck, fellas! We're good! Alright, put your hands in the air! <laughs> <laughs>